Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a challenge video and I am going to be doing the, um, what is it called? The makeup I wore in high school challenge. And I originally saw this by Myra Touch of Glam here on YouTube. If you guys know, like the original creator of this challenge, let me know down in the comments below so I could give the actual, um, inventor of this little challenge some credit but like i said i saw it from my touch of glam um so yeah i'm gonna be going back to my high school days and um redoing makeup how i did it back in high school i even did my hair which i always always teased my hair starting freshman year all the way through senior year so i was kind of known for like teased hair which is kind of weird but i mean it was kind of like my little signature type of look so yeah if you are interested and want to see how i did my hair and not my hair did my makeup back in the days then just stay tuned all right so i pinned my bangs back a little bit because they were kind of getting in the way so with the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go straight in with foundation um back in the day like primer wasn't really known so what i'm gonna do is go in with my fit me foundation in the color 240 and i'm just gonna apply this all over the face um some people not a lot of people wore makeup that i hung out with i was like the one who usually like i had to be up at like six in the morning to do my makeup and hair and put a cute outfit together so um the thing was i was the only one using foundation so i'm just gonna take a little bit behind my hand and back then, once again, beauty blenders or beauty sponges weren't known or invented that I know of. So I'm going to go in with a good old foundation brush and just blend this all into my skin. And it just feels wrong. Like, doing this feels... It just does not feel right. So yeah, um, I'm just going to go in and blend this out. I'm going to also leave the picture, a re two reference pictures that I'm going off of here on the screen. So you guys could kind of like follow along and see um what my makeup looked like this is like the worst thing now that i think about it it's like it's like really streaky and it's like already sinking into my fine lines that's scary there was also no such thing that i knew of as an eyeshadow base so i'm just gonna cover my eyelids with the same foundation Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my Max Fix Plus in the color NC35. This is way, 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 way paler than I am right now. But for some reason, I liked to apply a dark foundation and then lighten it up with powder and then bronze my whole face and darken it back up. That was just my, my routine. And I used no stipple brush, so all I did was take the little sponge they gave you and packed it into my skin. Oh, this feels weird. It feels like really, really thick. Like I forgot how thick foundation felt without like a beauty blender. So I'm just going to set my eyelids once again. So now I'm going to move on to the bronzing part of the routine. So my favorite bronzer has been the same one for the longest time, and that is from Wet n Wild. And this is a bikini contest. This is a little bit on the darker side. I usually go for the lightest one, but since I did get a little bit um, dark over summer, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So I'm just going to dip my, my brush in here and then go all into the face. Once again, contouring was not a thing, so I'm just going to bronze up. My face make me look a little bit orange. And yeah, that's how I applied bronzer. For my highlight, I've been using this, not my highlight, my blush. I've been using the same blush forever since I can remember. And that is the Wet n Wild, uh, excuse me, pearlescent pink. I would take the same brush I would use to bronze go a little bit heavy a little bit extra heavy because i was darker and then i'm just gonna take this on the apples of the cheeks and blend it upward like so this is obviously not a makeup tutorial so don't follow along and i would go pretty freaking heavy i think we all went through that one stage where we applied so much bronzer it was ridiculous but nobody told us anything because we didn't know any better 
And then, I don't know why, but I have the habit of taking it a little bit on my chin. I don't know. Okay. So. <laughs> Dang. So for my eyebrows, once again, there was no such thing in my world as an eyebrow pomade. There was no such thing as like Milani, no Anastasia, no nothing. So what I settled for was the Italia. Um, I think this is an, it's, the brand is Italia. Italia, it just says Italia Deluxe in black. And it's an eyeliner. Um, oh, I need to sharpen it because my eyebrows were sharp AF. <laughs> So this is going to be a little bit hard for me just because I did grow out my eyebrows. If you guys know or have been following me for a while, you guys know I had zero eyebrows. So the hard part is that I wouldn't start them here on the side of my nose. I would actually start them a little bit farther back. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like fill them in where I usually fill them in. But I'm going to fill them in a little bit thinner and try to at least follow the shape because I do have more eyebrows now. So... Let's do this. Oh, this already feels wrong, child. This is not. And I went like up, up. Like my eyebrows needed to be like. And straight down. It feels wrong not spooling them, like brushing through them because I didn't know what the heck a spoolie was or why those brushes came with like a brush set so I also didn't know how to fade them out so my eyebrows were all one color unfortunately so I'm just gonna fuck mmm I'm trying. Oh my god, this is scary. Oh my god. Why would I do this to myself? Okay, so I'm gonna quickly get a spoolie and then just try to brush through these because they're getting really chunky and I can't deal with it. Alright, so I drew in the other eyebrow just because um, it was taking a while to, for me to fill them in. So, for the eyeshadow, no eyeshadow base, no nothing, not even like a, a, I don't know, nothing. But what I'm gonna do is I always wore the same eyeshadow every single day, never got tired of it, and that is the MAC, um, what is this? What color is this? Dark Soul, and this is a pigment. So, I'm most likely gonna get a lot of fall fallout because I never, because I decided to do my foundation first for some odd reason. So what I did was take a blending brush and pick a little bit of this up. I'm scared for this. And then I would just pack it on my lid. Oh, there goes all the fallout. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I would stop like, let's say, I always stopped my eyeshadow like halfway. Without even blending it or thinking of blending because I didn't know what the fuck a blending brush was. So, yeah. I'm going to stop it about halfway in the eye. <laughs> this is so fuck. This is awkward, you guys. I challenge you guys. Like, if you guys don't even want to do a video about it, at least take a picture and tag me in it. So that's just what my eyeshadow looked like. It's a really shimmery eyeshadow. I'm just going to quickly apply this to the other eye. And if you guys don't know, this color from MAC, this pigment, is a really... It's like a gunmetal color. If it's not picking it up on camera, it's a gunmetal color. And it's really shiny. And on top of that, I would add another shimmery color. Which you will see in a little bit. And as, that, as if that wasn't enough... Um, shimmer on the lids i'm gonna take this wet and wild walking on eggshells palette and i'm gonna take this white shade and apply it on top well not on top but like under my brow bone so i mean i guess i kind of knew about like where to apply eyeshadows i just didn't apply them right 
Ay, Dios mío. Why wouldn't my mom let me walk out of the house like this? By the way, my eyebrows are getting really sweaty. They're, like, getting really oily. And I don't know how the hell I did not realize that. Alright, so let's move on to the eyeliner. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the one from L'Oreal. This has been by far my favorite gel eyeliner. And this is in Blackest Black. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this and create a cat eye on the outer part of my eye and the inner part of the eye. So let's see. I mean, the outer corner is easy because I do a lot of cat eyes. And I remember doing it thick. Like I liked a thick wing liner. Just gonna extend it out a bit. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do the inner part of the eye unless I'm like right here. So I'm just gonna quickly do it off camera and come back for the next part of, <laughs> of my signature look. All right, so I finished, I tried to at least finish the cat eye. Um, my eyes, I remember I did that particular look with the winged um, inner part and outer part of the eye with eyeliner, the liquid liner. But over time, my eyes kind of got like allergic, not allergic, but like if I apply, I, um, if I apply a liquid eyeliner, it just gets like really watery. So I'm not even going to bother to apply that, especially in the inner part of the eye. I did try my best, but I'm becoming a creasy mess and it sucks. But yeah, so I had no clue how to wear lashes, um, what kind of lashes fit me or anything like that. Nothing about makeup. I knew nothing. So I just went with a shit ton of mascara and this has been my favorite ever since and it is the Voluminous, 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 Voluminous Mascara from L'Oreal, whatever. And I'm just going to go and give my eyelashes a lot of coats. So here comes the worst part out of this whole look. So what we did, because we didn't know like anything about lipsticks, lip glosses, matte liquid lipsticks, nothing like that. So what we did was take a concealer that was either our skin tone or a little bit lighter. And what we did, just dunked our finger in. So we're going to take a little bit of concealer and put it directly into our dry chapped lips. Please tell me I am not the only one who did this because if I did it would suck. So if we wanted to we would walk around looking like this but if we did get a little bit crazy throw a nude pinkish lip gloss on top. This is from Makeup Forever and just made it a whole lot worse. I would legit rather put on the world's worst liquid lipstick that dries out your lips that gets in every little freaking crease than to wear this ever again. So yeah, you guys, that basically wraps up the video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I challenge you guys to do this, like I said, whether or not you have a YouTube channel or not. Just post up a picture, like a before an after type of picture and tag me on Instagram so I could see it and stalk you guys on Instagram. So yeah, that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this makeup look. And yeah, don't forget to tag me on your pictures because I challenge everybody who watches this. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already for future videos. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys.